Hello my friends. This is an Irish Celtic drum and I'm going to show you how to replace the drum head. Here I removed the tacks and the nails that were holding the edges of the skin onto the drum and I then I just peeled it off. So you can see here the uh, drum head was ripped, split down the middle, and I just tore it off. Okay, I have a 22 inch goat skin. The drum head or drum is an 18 inch drum, and this is, uh, like I said, 22 inch, and I'm going to soak it for an hour or two. So I had to find a container that would fit, so we're going to do it in here. Here's the goat skin. It's been soaked about three to four hours. And what you want to do next is identify which side was the hair. And that's going to be the surface of the drum. So I have it folded in half here. And you can pretty much identify it by feeling. The hair side will be real smooth. The flesh side, you'll feel uh, some texture, some rough areas. Uh, possibly uh, traces of where veins might have been. Um, so I can feel on this side, this is the rougher one. So this side will be top side. Okay, now um, I soaked this and it increased its dimension by about three quarter of an inch. So it's a 22 uh, inch uh, skin and it's measuring about 23 this is an 18 inch diameter so I'm spacing this evenly it's hanging over the edge and I get about an inch gap on each side so I'm going to do that in all the directions okay and then I'm going to start tacking this on and they used half inch nails. I purchased some brass. I would rather have brass. Now these have a rounded head. Uh, it would be nice to have flat but that wasn't available in brass. So that's just my preference. You could get away with uh, using the steel but uh, I don't like seeing rust. So we're going to attach this with brass tacks and um, there's a band that finishes this and it's one inch wide so the nails are going to be about a half inch down from the top edge and this is going to be trimmed later so let's start tacking this on so I'm using needle nose pliers to hold the tack because these are too small for my fingers and I'm going to start see this has a cross pattern I'm going to use this to give me a guide and I already stretched this to see where the excess should be so the first ones are going to be the toughest you can see I just lost my first nail and since I'm right handed that has to be in my left hand so I'm going to start here about a half inch down and you want to work this quick enough while the, the uh, rawhide is still wet so it, it'll go quick Okay, snugging that up. You can see a little bit of water oozing out. Okay, I have it stretched this way. Now I'm going to 
divide it in this direction. And each time I'm going to pull this, and I'm not over pulling it because when this dries out, and I'll, I'll dry it out overnight, and uh, it's going to shrink, and it'll shrink about an inch because with me stretching this and being wet, it expanded by about an inch. So that's going to really tighten this up. Every place where I see there's a larger gap, I'm putting a nail, I'm stretching this out like that. And tacking a nail in there to hold that down. See right here, you can see that one spot. So I'm getting a nail about every spaced about an every inch apart, and that looks like that will be plenty plenty of uh, holding. Okay, right there looks like a loose area. And you see it's fairly taut, but when it dries, it's going to be really tight. Now you can see here the spacing looks haphazard and it is but you're not going to see any of these this is going to be covered with a band okay now this is going to dry overnight you know I have it as tight as I could get it by pulling it but it's going to tighten up as it's drying now we need this to dry flat also and the best thing to use to hold this down while it's drying is an ace bandage. But I don't have an ace bandage. So what I'm going to use is some rubber tubing, inner tube. And uh, the disadvantage with this is it doesn't let the moisture to readily escape. So it might hold some of the moisture in, but what I'm going to do is go around this and I'll pull this out. The other thing with this rubber is it may leave some black marks on the, the rawhide. But again, like I said, this is going to be covered. And as I'm putting this on, I'm stretching the band. We go a few, around a few times. I should be able to take that clamp off. And when we get near the end, we just tuck this in. and that will hold it. Okay, now it's just a matter of leaving it overnight. Set overnight, dry. Okay, the rubber band or inner tube can come off. I need to trim this at one inch, so I'm taking a razor blade and this block of wood that's one inch. And I'm going to fasten it onto the block of wood. Okay, then from here.
Now after this is completely dried, <clears throat> you're going to put a coat of varnish on this. And this is going to help hold the nails so they don't slip. It also helps it to uh, be water uh, insoluble. So if it's real humid, this won't loosen up. Okay, let me caution you, don't do the coating this way. If it drips, it'll get underneath and it can wick underneath and get onto the drum surface itself. So you want your polyurethane to be pretty thin or varnish. You want this to soak into the rawhide. This top edge now is dressed off with a cloth strap, a decorative strap. So this will be wrapped around and tacked on. The end is cut to length, uh, slight overlap. The outside edge is folded so that there's no fraying there. Putting two of these tacks on the leading edge. Now since these are going to be seen, I'm going to space them out evenly. So I want to calculate my perimeter and see what the spacing should be. After I counted the perimeter around these, uh, I, I measured first. Then I got the number of tacks that I'm going to use. I divided that up evenly, and it comes out to uh, seven of these blocks. So that will allow me to get even spacing. One, two, three, four, five, six seven and of course my fingers can't get under there and hold it so I have to use my needle nose pliers I alternated the tacks. I found these decorative ones. So this is holding the band on. It also helps hold the drum head on. So the only thing we have left to do is to uh, possibly put a Celtic pattern on there, paint it, and play it. Thanks for watching my friends. Bye-bye.